Alright guys, what's up? What's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're hopping on to Madden and today we got the Dallas Cowboys. Their draft is pretty solid. They got some good players. I really think they needed secondary help early. They didn't get that in the first round because Sertain and Horn got snagged right before their pick. But they traded back and still got a really solid defender in Micah Parsons. They got Kelvin Joseph. Good secondary help. They needed it. I don't know how good he's actually going to be. It doesn't look like he's going to be that helpful in this draft class or in this roster. But he's solid. We got Odigi Zua. Another help on the defensive side of the ball. I like it a lot. I think their defense is better. Jabril Cox, also a pretty solid pickup, but realistically, he's not going to start in this. Um, but yeah, I like what they did. We're going to hop into Madden and see if we can win a Super Bowl with them. So we're going to simulate this first season and see what happens. Let's go. All right, first season, it looks like we actually didn't make the playoffs. Eight and eight, not very good. Somehow the Eagles went 12 and four. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade players and get into the off season, try to fix this squad. All right, first week of free agency, there's really not that much talent this year. There never is. Um, we did throw out some offers on a bunch of older guys. We'll see if we get them. We got Melvin Ingram, solid. He'll help out the defensive line. We didn't get Earl Thomas, that's fine. We did get Richard Sherman, Zach Ertz, and Jerron Reed, though. All those guys are going to be impact players. Now we're going to hop into the draft and try to finish fixing this team up. All right, we're hopping into the draft. We need pick 17. Yikes. We need interior help on both the offensive and defensive lines. More so on the offensive side, and we need a safety. That's about it. Damani Richardson, that might be a move. Uh, I know we can get interior help later in the in the offensive line at least and defensive line isn't too crazy of a need so we're gonna try to hit a safety we need a free safety i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go for it oh my god he's really good okay sweet about the right value for the spot we picked at i don't know why i picked him honestly should have gone for probably the strong safety but we'll take it now we got to try to find some interior offensive line help if we can hit on an off... Why did I go that way? Bro, what am I doing? If we can hit on an offensive lineman, it's probably going to be Hudson. Uh, yeah, we're going to go Hudson. If we can hit on this pick, we're looking good. Um, not perfect, but we'll take it. 73 overall isn't bad. Uh, is there anything else I really want? We kind of hit every position we really needed, so I might just... I mean... Oh, come on. I got to get somebody else. I got to get somebody else. What can we get? What can we get? Jordan Williams looks like a great player. Oh, he's actually not bad for the for the point we were picking out. We'll take it. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this draft. Uh, we're going to hop into the next season and see if we can make the playoffs this year. And honestly, I think we're going to. All the weak spots we had are filled now, so we should be really solid. All right. Did we make the playoffs this year? That looks promising. 12-4. and four. I'm surprised that got us a first round bye, but we'll take it. We're going to simulate the divisional round, upgrade players, and see how the first game goes. All right, for our first game, we got the Rams. Doesn't look like they're that good. They're just 8-8, eight and eight, but obviously they have a lot of superstar players. So we do get the win, though, and we're in the conference championship. We're going to upgrade players and get into this next game. We got the Bears. Bears aren't going to be that good. Um, I guess they have Justin Fields, so maybe, but... Not too worried. Yeah, we destroy them. We're going to upgrade players and get into the Super Bowl. Let's go, guys. All right, we are hopping into the game. We're actually just going to play defense because it's all about Micah Parsons and the other rookies on defense. Honestly, not what I'm used to doing, so it's a little bit scary. Like, low-key, just a little bit. Uh, Micah Parsons is up to an X factor. That's beautiful. We got We're going up against Mac Jones, too. Right there, beautiful play by 75. Is that... Our other rookie already? That is Odigi Zuwa. First play of the game. He makes a play for us. We'll take it. We'll take it. I did not expect stuff like that to happen too often. We got Parsons out here on Kendrick Bourne. That might be a tough cover. He's going to split out. Nothing. Leighton Vander Esch is going to drag down James White, I believe. Is that Michelle? That might be Michelle. That's James White. That's James White. Yeah, this is an interesting squad to be running with right now. If you guys have been watching any of my other videos, you know defense is super inconsistent for me. I've talked about it in the past. I used to be pretty good at defense. I feel like I'm trash now. And right there, we're going to get worked. Jordan Lewis makes a nice tackle, but big play. 
Uh, yeah, defense is so inconsistent for me. I mean, I feel like one day I'll be I'll be doing everything right, getting interceptions, fumbles, sacks, everything, and then the next day I literally won't get a stop the whole game. It feels like so. Like right there, it really wasn't that great of a. He's almost on the ground and he gets picked up and dragged an extra three yards. That's great. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes today. I don't like not being in control of offense. That's tough. It's very tough to not have a have a chance to actually control whether you score or not. But yeah, we suck at this game a lot, a lot. That was terrible. <laughs> Please tell me it's holding. Please. <laughs> We're so lucky. We're so lucky. It gets called back. Second and 17, too. That's actually... That's a long ways to go. We may have a shot at stopping them here. Well, we should have a shot at stopping them here. We should stop them. <laughs> Shouldn't just be a shot. Wow, Leighton Van Der Esch just got absolutely cooked. Our rookie, Daxton Hill, makes a nice tackle, but... That wasn't even close. Leighton Van Der Esch got absolutely torched out of his shoes. That's not what we like to see. That is not what we like to see. I gotta figure out how to stop that because I can't let them do that. Leighton Van Der Esch comes back and gets a big hit, but for absolutely nothing, Aguilar goes flying. I think that's Aguilar. Yeah, Aguilar goes flying. Not much help for us, but it's something, I guess. And Micah Parsons is all the way over there. Okay. Come on, get in there. Yeah, we make the hit stick. Beautiful play. Parsons sends him flying now. Love to see it. Love to see it. Big hit. Beautiful. Yeah, I like the you know, I like the pick of Parsons. I do. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's good value. They really needed secondary help. I think that's pretty obvious. The Cowboys had one of the worst secondaries last year. You know, I I would have liked to see them get it in the first round and not have to wait. But obviously Horn and uh Horn and um Sertain getting picked so early, that's gonna... Sherman, step up! Why didn't it switch me on to Sherman? It was literally going right to him. That should have been an easy sack. I don't know how he didn't bring him down. Should have been a pick, but I couldn't switch on to the right guy. Um, but yeah, I... The Cowboys got screwed over by their opponent, or by the other guys around them picking the guys they needed. Wasn't much they could do. They traded down, smart move. They traded down with a division rival. I mean, I guess, like, they, I don't know, I trading with division rivals is always tough, but it screwed over another division rival, supposedly at least, um, so, I don't know, it's an interesting move, they made some interesting choices, but it seems like they are happy with what they did, and uh, Micah Parsons is going to be a very good player, linebacker just didn't Reed is a neat, beautiful play by Leighton Van Der Esch, native four yards on that. That is perfect. And they're going to kick a field goal. We'll take that all day. I think our offense can score points. I'm not worried about it. Offense is going to go out. Dak Prescott is healthy again. And he's kind of getting carried by Zeke right now, to be honest. But, oh, big. It's just a penalty. It's just a, can't convert. That's rough. All right, they're gonna kick a long field goal. Okay, we'll take it, we got points, we got points, we'll take it. Um, what was I saying? <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about it, but they got a good player. It's gonna help out their defense. Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. Jalen Smith definitely regressed this, bro, I can't get a hit to save my life. Leighton Van Der Esch definitely regressed this year. Jalen Smith definitely seemed to regress this year, but they're both still talented players. We'll see what happens with them if they break if they come back strong again next year. Hopefully for the Cowboys' sake they do. Dang, another good hit by Daxton Hill, but they're still moving the ball way too easily right now. That's not good. I don't know whether to play uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. We get the interception. Jordan Lewis, come on, we need pick six. Oh, we get the interception. That sets up our offense beautifully to take the lead for us. Please tell me they do. <laughs> Please. I mean, I think I think the Cowboys have a really solid roster. Corner is weak. Safety is kind of weak. Big play right there. 23 yards to Zacherts and a touchdown. Zacherts dominated that drive. Wow. Huge play. We love that. Absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with them. If Prescott comes back and plays well, Cowboys are going to be a good team. They might not be great. They might not be. I mean, I. Oh wow! I played that bad. I played that very bad. 
they might not be right there in Super Bowl contention, but especially in the division they're in, you got to figure they're in playoff contention at least. Um, I'm still personally not super sold on the Washington football team. Just not. Uh, I'm a Giants fan, so I'm hopeful for them, but it, if Daniel Jones doesn't get better, they're not going to get much better. So the Cowboys should have a really solid shot. The Eagles, I mean, maybe Jalen Hurts turns out to be amazing and Devonta Smith becomes the next best thing at receiver, but um, I also don't have too much faith in them. Keanu Neal, he gets the pick. Can we get something going here? We can get a lot of yards on this return. No, oh my god, he's not quick. Not quick at all, but that's okay. That's okay. We get the ball, or we get another stop. We don't get the ball back in time to score or anything, but we'll, uh, oh, well, maybe. No, no. Uh, we are back on offense, so we actually keep simulating here. And offense, another big pass. Prescott's looking, right as I was about to talk Prescott up, he gets stopped, but another long field goal. 57 yards for Zerline. That's two. We like seeing that. Um, see Parsons again. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with the Cowboys. I'm really interested to see the whole division. I mean, as a Giants fan, like I said, I follow this division pretty closely. Uh, so it's it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm really not sure how I feel about any team, I guess. Like, I, I don't know. There's a lot of big injuries in the division. There's a lot of surprises. Another big hit from Leighton Vander Esch. He's making a lot of hits, but he's been a liability in coverage so far. So... I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, but yeah, I think I think a lot of the moves that we made so far in this. Uh, oh no, I got cooked. That was a weird looking uh, corner route. Keanu Neal's gonna come up and absolutely blow him away, but I got destroyed there. That's my bad. Uh, um, but yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of the moves we made in this, uh, like I guess rebuild I don't know I don't really like calling these rebuilds too much but it's pretty much what it is I think a lot of the moves are reasonable I think for the Cowboys to go out and sign someone like Sherman very reasonable Jerron Reed I think he already got picked up didn't he go he went to some good team didn't he He went to like the Chiefs or something stupid like that uh, but Sherman totally reasonable I could see that for sure if he doesn't go back to the 49ers just going to the Cowboys is definitely reasonable um, there's, uh, you know, I just, you know, hitting, hitting safety in the drafts with Daxton Hill. That seems pretty reasonable. There's Sherman getting a good pass breakup for us. I think that's the first time I've actually seen him make a play. Um, so, you know, I think, I think this team is somewhat similar to what we could actually see in the next year or two. And I think it's, uh, I think it's a pretty dang good roster. That interior offensive line needs to develop more. Man, I just couldn't keep up with Bourne there. But we get in their tackle with Parsons, which is nice. I guess pad his stats a little bit. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, uh, I really don't know what to expect. I think they're, uh, I think they got a solid roster though. They got so many playmakers on offense. That's just what's fun about this team. I mean, Prescott's a solid quarterback. Uh, I don't know if he's as good as a lot of people hype him up to be, but he's very solid and they have phenomenal weapons for him. I mean, one of the best wide receiver trios in football. I would... I would almost be tempted to argue that they are the best wide receiver trio in football. And as I said before, I am not a Cowboys fan. So, uh, man, the Patriots had the best offense. <laughs> Dang, that's weird. Uh, but, yeah, I think they're up there with one of the best best uh, skill player cores, I guess. 73 again, is that – who was that? I feel like that was someone that I uh, knew. We led the league in takeaways this year too. Dang, that is also surprising to me. Um, but yeah, I think the Cowboys have so much potential. I think they do. I think with the division they play in, there's a very good chance that they... Wow, I overpursued that. <laughs> Not putting enough attention into the gameplay right now. Um, I think they I think they really have a shot to make the playoffs. I think if they do make the playoffs, they could have a run. I mean, their offense is skilled enough that it could take them far. I think they still need to work on defense a good bit. Um, but... We'll see. We'll see. T could totally prove me wrong very easily, and it would not surprise me. So, we'll see. Anyways, this game, though, we need to step up. We need to stop right here. That would be huge. If we could, if we could hold them here, that would be probably the game, I feel like. I mean, they need to go all the way back down the field and get a touchdown. 
They're going to get a touchdown there. Our corner can't cover a running back. I know James White is a good receiving back, but come on. There's no way he should be getting that open. And they're going to challenge whether it's a catch or not. It's Madden, so it's not going to get overturned. It's upheld. Shock surprise. We need our offense to come through now. We cracked finally. And, uh, yeah, we need something from the offense. Let's see what Dak can do for us. Right now they're moving the ball very easily. Zeke. And they convert. I think that's the game. Come on. Come on. They went for it on fourth and two. And Ezekiel Elliott picks it up. We win the game. Like that. Wow. Okay. Honestly, that game was kind of fun. I didn't mean to simulate through all that. But oh well. I'm not used to playing, uh, playing defense. I'm used to playing offense. It's a little scary to have the offense in someone else's control. But... We clutched up. We got the dub. Um, defense played good. Offense got it done. Zach Ertz looked like he played incredible for us, which is fun. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Like and subscribe for more stuff coming out soon. I put out videos almost every day, every other day, something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.